Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing this wig that I have on my head. It is a Bobby Boss wig in the style Marilyn. And it's cute. So I don't have any pictures or footage of the original packaging because I've had this wig for almost a month. I've worn it in my last couple of videos and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys what I think about it. So first off, this is what the stock card looks like. It comes in the package so you guys can get a look at what it looks like. And there's the back showing some different angles. Hopefully you guys can see that. If not, I apologize. I'll insert pictures if I can. So just on here it says it's a premium synthetic wig in the style of Maryland. It comes in a bunch of different colors if you guys can see that on the bottom. Um, it has a C part which is 3.5 inches deep premium heat fiber safe heat styling. There, um, and it does have lace from ear to ear in the front. So, just to get started here, when I took it out of the package, it pretty much looked exactly like this. Um, this side here with the most hair was curlier than this side, but like I didn't, I didn't mind that at all. You can brush it out um, to give it a looser texture or whatnot. Um, it does have a C part right here, and when I first got this wig, I was like, I don't know if I want a C part since it's like already parted for you um, and I usually actually part my hair on the left side but it actually works out great there is room enough that you can pluck the part because I, I did pluck it it wasn't this noticeable um, and I did pluck the front I have some baby hairs here like I did say there's lace from ear to ear I keep looking down because there's a mirror right here so I'm sorry about that but um, I was able to pluck the part customize some baby hairs and whatnot and I really think this is a good wig for a beginner because you can't over pluck it I mean like you could but like it's really hard to over pluck so that way when you're plucking this if you decide to you can kind of get a feel and see what your wig is supposed to look like there um, the wig is average size it's stretchy it's not on a full lace cap okay sorry about that my camera cut off but I was saying it's not a full cap, like there's like lace right here, like up to here maybe? No, like up to where the C part is. And then the rest is just like tracks and there's like pieces of elastic that go vertical. I don't know how else to describe it, but I'll try to take a picture or something and insert it here. Um, but it is stretchy, there's two combs, there's one in the top right here, one in the back, and adjustable straps. So that's basically it there. Like I did say, it is synthetic. Um, so it does tangle a little bit, but like I can almost always just run my fingers through and detangle it. Um, I have brushed it out once because I wanted it really fluffy and I just used a diamond brush to brush it out. And you can also use like a white tooth comb if you wanted to, like this. Um, if it seems like my fingers are getting snagged in it then I'll just spray like a little bit of water on it and I can detangle it in like five minutes so it doesn't tangle up too bad the back actually doesn't mat up at all which I was surprised out surprised about because it is synthetic um what else shedding when I first got it it did shed some when I took it out the package and it shed when I plucked it like I got about like 20 to 30 strands but now it hardly ever sheds like I might get like two or three strands a day but to me it's like that's not bad at all for a synthetic wig or really any wig in general because it's not growing out of your scalp so there's that I mean there's no smell it's not too shiny but if it is too shiny for you you can always use dry shampoo or baby powder to dull it down a little bit um what else can I say I haven't heat styled it so I'm not sure how it takes heat um I've brushed it out a lot or ran my fingers through it and like I said I've been wearing it for almost a month so the curls aren't as uniform as they were when I first got it but that's okay um I'm not sure if I'll ever put heat on it or try to recurl it but if you want to you know you can because the package does say but it didn't say let's see it doesn't say what degrees so just be mindful of that um the wig you can pretty much get it in any beauty supply store or 
any beauty supply store online. You just have to search Bobby Boss Marilyn Wig. And I've seen it online ranging from like $30 to $45. I'll go ahead and put some links in the description um, where you can purchase the wig from as well. Um, what else? What else? What else could I say about it? I mean, overall, I like it. It's short and cute. It's not hot, so you can wear it in the spring, summer. Um, it's very sturdy. It does not come off. Um, I've had this wig on since Sunday. Um, I glued the sides down with got to be glued gel. The front is not taped down or anything like that, but I did do some baby hair. It's like my baby hairs and everything are still intact from Sunday. Like I said, I've worn this to church. I've shouted in this wig. It didn't come off, so that's good. Um, I don't know. Overall, I think it's great. Um, if you're a beginner or not even a beginner, you just want something to throw on really quickly, I would say get this wig. There's not a lot of maintenance that you need to do to it. I slept in this wig, and it was easy for me to comb it out. So that's all I have to say about this Bobby Boss wig. I would very impressed i would recommend it to anybody who's looking for a wig and at the end of this video i am going to go ahead and insert some clips of a couple other styles that you can do while wearing this wig and while you're watching these clips are just a couple things to keep in mind if you are going to try these styles um you may need a hair tie or bobby pins or some clips of your choice also a lot of the styles that i show have like little tendril pieces hanging down Number one is because I like tendrils, and number two, sometimes I use tendrils to hide pieces of the lace that may lift up or look crusty. So, there's that. And then also just keep in mind, I've had this wig on since Sunday. I didn't restyle my baby hairs or anything like that because I need to take it off and wash my hair underneath. And lastly, I have my hair in six large braids underneath my wig, so some of the styles aren't smooth. But if you get your braids flat enough or small enough, you may be able to smooth some of the styles better. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, stay tuned for the other styles. Thanks for watching.